after 2008, 65% voted yes on marijuana decrim statewide in Massachusetts. Landslide victory, biggest initiative win in Massachusetts uh, last 20, 30 years, I would say, in all of politics. More support than pretty much any candidate running for office. 2012, marijuana passes again, medical marijuana this time in Massachusetts. Ballot initiative, 63% support. Boston Freedom Rally, a leader of the Democratic Party, Barney Frank speaks in support of marijuana reform at the Boston Freedom Rally, the Mass Gen Normal Boston Freedom Rally, just last September, one year ago, pretty much from today. So why is the Boston, city of Boston, the government of Boston, continuing to wage war on the same Freedom Rally year after year after year? It's been 22 something years. This is going to be the fourth lawsuit where Mascan has to sue the city to get a permit to be able to have a Freedom Rally. Why are, why are we allowing this? And, and that's my question today because that's the news that we're finding out. Mascan is not getting a permit right now from the city of Boston. They probably never will get one. The court will likely award one. That's what I expect to happen for the fourth time in 20 some odd years. This time, the city of Boston, the most preposterous hack answer ever, they said they didn't have enough police resources for this Freedom Rally on two days this weekend, next weekend. Um, it's Saturday, September 14th and 15th. It is happening. It doesn't matter what uh, the permitting process says. We're gonna get the permit, and even if we don't, people are still gonna go. They can't stop us. So, uh, big weekend upcoming. The city of Boston, uh, also through the, the uh, city police, the Boston Police Department, has also uh, apparently released some kind of warning notice to uh, Freedom Rally vendors, to Freedom Rally artists. Spin the whip and light, bounce to the air. I get high cause I'm in the hood, the guns is around. Take a blunt just to ease the pain and humble me now. And I'd rather roll something up. Cause if I'm sober dog, I just might flip. Grab my guns and hold something up. I get high as a kite, all alone in the zone. Ghost float, case I'm dying tonight. So I roll them up, back to back, fat as I could. Got beef with Styles P, I come to splatter the hood. Roll that shit, like that shit, smoke it. 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 Roll that shit, like that shit. Hey yo, I smoke like a chimney. Matter of fact, I smoke like a gun When a killer see his enemies I smoke like Bob Marley did Add to that, that I smoke like the hippies did Back in the 70s Spit with the finishing touch Get this, that I'ma finish you before I finish the Dutch I get high like the birds in the plains I get high when bullets hit faces After words exchange Get a rush off the blood on the wall Understand like the M5 pedal when it's touching the floor Get high cause I ride, what's better to do? And I'ma never give a fuck cause I'm better than you Roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it Roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it Roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it Roll that shit, light that shit, Roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it Roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it Roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it Roll that shit, light that shit Love y'all motherfucker. To Freedom Rally speakers, to Freedom Rally performers, that you are open to harassment and searches entering the common in your vehicles when you're unloading your merchandise. Uh, and you'll not be allowed to enter the common after 9.30. And if your car is uh, on the common uh, beyond a certain point of time, they will tow you. They are going hard line against the performers the vendors, the activists at the Freedom Rally again. This is what they do. Um, and this time they're saying it's because of the Boston bombing. And I find it's uh, horrific that they're trying to use our peaceful event, the most peaceful day in Boston every year, which is now a weekend. It's the place that I feel safest in Boston every year. It's the most safe spot to be, except for the police. That's the only, uh, the only harm risk over the years. And it seems to have gotten better recently. And we we're happy about that, and I was actually commending the Boston police on that and the city for that. But uh, again, this year they're back and they're trying to shut down the Freedom Rally, and they don't want it to go two days. 
and they're going to harass the performers, the speakers, the organizations that attend that set up merchandise booths there. They, they're going to be on you. They want to search your vehicle as you enter the common. And um, my response on this is uh, we have a week to go and there's a lot we can talk about and there are already some suggestions that I like but I want to uh, make sure that the community is on board. I don't want to be the person that makes all the decisions in regards to all these things. And uh, one of the things that, a couple things have been suggested. One of the things that I really like from Garrett Kirkland, he suggested that uh, since the police are going to be searching um, these cars coming in to the common, who are our friends and vendors and our fellow activists and our fellow uh, musicians and bands, local bands that are performing at the rally, that we stand out and we protest that, that we videotape it, that we get uh, signs out saying, Boston police, we don't approve. You know, uh, what, are they gonna search the Boston Celtics as they enter the Fleet Center? Are they gonna uh, search the, you know, search all the other musicians and organizations in the city of Boston? I suspect not. I suspect this is politically motivated and uh, they're using the Boston bombing where people actually died, where, where people have been scarred. They're using that as political cover to go Let's after us yes, for sir. our political views and take our rights away. Hey, yo, somebody I think the throw city of Boston sign, is hacking when they do yeah, that. Yeah, that goes at after how many years so I wonder uh, do people think we should do you think we should stand out and protest at 9 a.m. in the morning while the police are searching people as they're entering the Boston Common from two different checkpoints in, in vehicle I think we should do that but I want to hear what people think uh, another suggestion was from uh, John Murphy he's another good activist the two these two guys are two young good activists he had a good he thinks that uh, we should do a we should do a protest and take over the city that we've almost been too polite and I almost agree with him on this now it's like we should we have two days the Boston Freedom Rally now it's a question it's not you know it's not my decision to make this is Mascan's decision to make because it's their permit it's their event so I want them to actually decide not me but uh, I think the community should should weigh in and let them know how they feel about it. And I think that the city, the whole weekend, we're not leaving. We're, we're taking over the city of Boston because they have tried to eject us. We need to show our what we're doing here. And I like John Murphy's suggestion. He suggested that we all gather right after the Freedom Rally is over. I think it's over 8 p.m. It's gonna go 12 to 8 p.m. on Saturday. At 8 p.m. we gather at that main stage or maybe it's the gazebo stage, wherever we're gonna gather, and then we start marching. We take over the city that night. We take over the city on Sunday night after the rally's over. We take over the true strength and power and how politically motivated we are, that it's not just about getting stoned on the Freedom Rally, it's about actually going out and taking over the city this weekend because we've had enough. We're laying it down to the city of Boston. This isn't a mass can. This is the people can. This is myself, my can, speaking for myself. Nobody else, no other organization, no other radio show even. This is me. This is my voice. And I'm saying the people can. The people can decide to do what they want, and they should decide what they want. And I want to hear what people think. Should we take these actions? What should we do this week? Because they're trying to shut us down again. It's 2013. We're, we're just about on the cusp of winning. Even President Obama is showing that the war on marijuana is almost over. So let's, let's do this. I think this weekend, this upcoming week, it's one week away. We can actually take a lot of action and move this nationally. So let's do that. Let me know what you think. So we're taking it to the streets, baby. <laughs> From the Freedom Rally to the streets. And I'm taking it to the streets right now. I'm walking. Give you a little uh, surprise. There's some news coming out. Some really big news. And I can't really talk about it yet. But all I can say is uh, there's a political campaign some people have been talking about. And no, I'm not talking about Chris Farone for governor. Though I probably will support that ticket. What I'm actually talking about is 
Mike Can and the King of Pot 2016. News coming. People are hacking along us, walking down the street, yelling at us. Because they know. Mike Can, King of Pot 2016. It's getting real.